founders, Andy and Haley, decided to create the Sheet Society after being unable to find the perfect sheet. With humble beginnings of a shared office, news of the best night's sleep ever spread and scale was the order of the day. Fast forward to 2021 and all fulfillment is done out of this warehouse and there is no sign of slowing down. Until their bedtime at least. We're at the studio of the Sheet Society in Melbourne with Hayley and Andy. Welcome to the show, guys. Hey, Good thanks. So today's all about growth. So let's just cover off the different milestones you've had to go through over the past four or five years. Well, I guess the first stage in launching the business was figuring out, um, you know, the product. And I've got a background in product design and development, so that was really my jam. Um, and then the second stage is kind of building out that brand and that marketing piece. Do people want to buy what we're selling? Um, and then the last stage, which we've just kind of come out the back of, is a warehousing piece, the operational side of things that isn't, I guess, the pretty side, but it really is the key to making sure the business functions. So you generally have two choices, to seek outside investment or grow organically. Which one did you guys choose? Oh, we really enjoy working and so it was important to us um, to really make our own decisions and we didn't want to be answerable to anyone. So we're bootstrapped from day one and we would hope to be for quite a time. Yeah, the focus is absolutely on making sure our customers are happy and making sure our team are happy um, rather than us having to please shareholders and other things like that. So with growth comes risk and what's your appetite to risk? Are you more proactive and optimistic or are you a bit more hesitant and reluctant? Oh, I'd say Haley's very much the, let's just go for it, doesn't matter what happens, and then, um, okay, well, let's have a look, let's make a forecast, uh, and there'll be decisions that will be around, oh, we need to get to this point um, until we can make these investments, or do we have to make these investments so we can get to that point, and it depends on the situation. I think you need both types of outlooks, too, in a business. What, would, what advice would you give to a company that feels like they're ready, but they are hesitant to make that move? I think, um, you know, growth is such a big term and it kind of implies that you have to do everything at once. But for us, um, like we spoke about before, it's about the different stages and what you need to level up to then grow. You know, is it your operations? Is it your marketing? Um, and what can you focus in on? Yeah, that's it. You can't just put all your eggs in sales and marketing without making sure your, your back end operations taken care of as well. So I think it's about making those incremental growth stages across all your business so the whole, whole grows together rather than just chasing one particular element. So from the start you guys have been growing with Shopify, tell us a bit about that experience. Oh, they've been there from day one, from when we were making you know, $10, $20 a day or you know, even, even less um, pre-start and it's one of those systems that we've really grown with. We've had apps and we've had um, other you know, cloud software that we've outgrown as we've grown but Shopify has been there from the start you know, and they're continually developing what they do, um, so we're always finding more value out of that platform, I mean, particularly when we open retail stores and they have add their pause solution as well. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Hayley. Guys, jump on the sheetsociety.com.au. They are the best sheets. Check it out.